Parker Island is located in Elmore County which is in central Alabama. It is completely surrounded by water, with the Coosa River to the north, the Alabama River to the west, and the Tallapoosa River to the south and east. It has over 8 miles of shore and 1,850 acres of area. It is only accessible by boat or aircraft unless you are a good swimmer. Ahead you can see Callaway Creek, which connects Walter Bolden Dam and the Alabama River. Notice the change in the watercolor where the Coosa River meets Callaway Creek. This is the start of the Alabama River and is where we will begin our circumnavigation of the island. If you look to the left you will see the silo and only buildings on the island. We'll take a closer look at them later. Watumpka means rumbling waters in the Creek language, and much of the history of Parker Island is one of Native American history. The French arrived and built a series of three forts in the area between 1717 and 1763, naming the original Fort Toulouse. During the War of 1812, the Americans built Fort Jackson at the site. Interestingly, at that time there was no Parker Island. It wasn't until the Great Flood of 1866, which changed the course of the Tallapoosa River, that the island was formed. Below us you can see one of the coolest features of the island, its barge and piers on both sides of the river. The barge is large enough to accommodate vehicles, and must make it easy to transport large heavy items to the island. We'll land there in a minute. In 1960, Fort Toulouse was declared a National Historic Site, and in 1976 local groups built a replica of the original fort on the grounds. In the 1980s the park was acquired by the Alabama Historical Commission and a more accurate replica of the fort was built. Around this time, Parker Island was auctioned off and W.S. Billy Newell acquired the whole island for around $600,000. This works out to less than $325 per acre. Billy Newell had made a fortune in the road construction business, but is probably more known for creating the most iconic landmark on Interstate 65 between Montgomery and Birmingham, the Go to Church or the Devil Will Get You Sign. On the island he planted pine trees and cultivated crops. He also constructed a house, a couple of storage barns, and a silo. Billy Newell passed away in 2009, but his family retains ownership of the island. They continue to grow crops each year, but now the main focus is hunting. The island is home to a herd of deer and countless feral pigs, and there are numerous hunting stands on the island. During hunting season, local pilots try to avoid the area so as not to be a nuisance to the hunters. Now we're on the southern border of the island and can see the Tallapoosa River ahead. Here we find another very cool feature, the beach. Even when the water is high, this sandy beach remains exposed. There are trails and dirt roads cut all through the island for four-wheelers to access this area and the many hunting stands. When the river is low, several sandbars arise on the eastern side creating what locals affectionately call, the Redneck Riviera. Local aviation legend, Stan Too, once landed a kit fox on one of these sandbars. Ahead you can see Callaway Creek and we have circumnavigated the island. 
Let's go back and take a look at that barge. I'll let Bill narrate this part. But uh, here we come in. Uh, this is Parker Island on the right, and we're on the Alabama River here. And I'm going to show you one of the coolest things about Parker Island. is the only way to get a vehicle onto Parker Island. They have their own barge. <laughs> it's big enough to get a barge truck onto, I believe. And I'll show it to you right now. There's a road that leads up to it. So uh, when the family wants to go here, I understand they're really into hunting. I see a lot of deer stands on there. I'll try to point out a deer stand for you. Uh, but they do some farming as well. But there is the uh, barge. They just drive up onto the barge and they go across to the other side. This side you have the uh, where they dock the barge. Okay, I'm going to take off and show you the rest of the island. Let's take one last look at Parker Island as we pass over the center from south to north. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Parker Island. Of course, the whole island is private property, so if you're ever on the Alabama River just observe it from the water. Or better yet, pay a visit to Fort Toulouse. In addition to the fort, there is a recreation of a Native American village, two Indian mounds, a campground, and the Bartram hiking trail.